Sensei Jamie here, still talking about our angles when it comes to our movement. So we went over uh, the beginner and intermediate ways, which is easy to remember um, when you're training with your angle uh, training star. Easy way to remember, beginner, your back leg, intermediate, your front leg, and now um, with advanced is going to be both legs. So some of you guys may be asking, okay, wait a minute, if I'm... If, if beginner is, we're, so we're gonna talk about moving to the right, um, breaking down. So you guys know, beginner, back leg moves first, and my front leg adjusts. Intermediate, intermediate. Remember for our intermediate, my front foot moves first, at, takes that angle, and then I adjust the back foot. But either way, the both gets me at the different angles. It all just depends on how I move, how well I can move, and the techniques I can throw before or after that angle for the intermediate and beginner movement. So we're gonna talk about going to the right again so we can show the difference once again. Beginner, back foot, front foot adjust. Intermediate, front foot, back foot adjust. Advanced, here we go. For the advanced students, it's going to be both feet that move, okay? So it's kind of like both feet and both feet beginner, if you think about it. The reason why is because my back foot is gonna be the way that I throw my angle for this one. Alright? So the reason why we move both feet, if I'm fighting someone and I do my angle this way, both feet move. So now it's like, uh-oh. Which way is he going to go? Well, because it's an advanced move, I can adjust both two angles to where if I want to go right, I go right with doing my beginner way. If I want to go left because both feet went, I'm going my intermediate way. Got it? So the only difference with my advance and my, my beginner and in intermediate is that with intermediate with beginners I'm picking one angle at a time intermediate one angle at a time advance I bring my feet to step both angles so I can either go this way or this way and I get the pick while I'm here depending on the technique that the person is doing I can go that way or same feet are gonna move so I'm gonna move my left foot forward and my right foot um, uh, my left foot back and my right foot uh, forward both times okay so it's kind of like the beginner going to the right okay but this time I'm just gonna move both feet got it both feet are at both angles when I go here so I'm here and it's gonna be step and then I get the pick if I want to go this way or if I want to go this way. But both of them are keeping me off the middle. So, so this person is trying to attack me while I'm here and I can switch. Boom. And then I go pick what side I want. Here, I pick what side I want, okay? So that's the beginner way, or that's the advanced way. So we're gonna break it down. We're gonna go up, remember. So we're gonna move going to the right just so I can show you, all our movements are gonna go to the right, okay? Remember, beginner, back foot, front foot adjust for beginner. Intermediate, front foot, back foot adjust. Advance, both feet, and since I wanna go to the right, my front foot's gonna adjust for this angle. So I'm going the right every single time. So the right every single time. Here we go. Beginner, back foot, adjust. Intermediate, front foot, adjust. Advance, both feet, adjust. And also going to the right, same thing for both feet. Going to the right, my I could switch and go either way. So advance, both feet, adjust. Now 
Now I'm going to switch feet. Watch again. Both feet adjust. Both feet adjust. Got it? The reason why I go both feet when I'm in, it, in an advanced um, movement is so that way that gives them a least amount of time to adjust to me because they don't know which way I'm trying to get out of the way. Now, for the advanced fighters and the advanced students, when you move back and forth, you gotta remember that if you're advanced and you're pretty good, you're probably fighting other people that are advanced and pretty good too. It's this karate thing, whether it's Taekwondo, karate, um, you know, even kickboxing, all these martial arts, the ankles kind of stay the same. And then how advanced a student is, they can identify which way you're trying to go and want to go. So now the black belts, the, the thing that to me, my sensei always tells me this, that separates a black belt is because black belts, we cheat. We try to make you think we're doing one thing and then we're going to actually do another thing. And that's how our techniques work because we have to do that. We can't just go straight up. All right, I'm going to move this way and hit you here because everybody does that. Everybody's like, move out of the way, counter. Move out of the way, counter. So a black belt has to go, move out of the way, up, oh, not going this way, counter. Move out of the, you don't know which way, and counter. So that's what uh, the difference is. And I'm not just saying black belts, there's a lot of fighters that aren't even black belts that master moving in both directions, and you don't understand which way they're trying to move until it's too late, okay? So how we practice this, remember, our neutral bounce and our techniques always have to explode when we go to our different techniques. So I'm at my neutral bounce right in front. If I want to move to the right, step, step. That's my beginner way. Still on my beginner way. Step, step. On my beginner way. Now intermediate at my bounce. Step, step. Remember, it's the front foot that moves first at intermediate. So here, intermediate. Step, step. And adjust. Step, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. Step, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. Now my advanced way. Step, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. Step, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. Step, step, bounce, bounce, bounce. So you're actually moving both feet. When I'm here, I'm bouncing both feet to move, and I pick a side that I'm gonna go. Both feet to move, and then I'll pick a side. So remember. For my intermediate, or for my beginner, it's always the back leg, adjust. Intermediate, front legs, adjust. Uh, advance, both legs, adjust. And when, out of, when you move both legs, you can adjust either side. So just remember that. Back leg, beginner, front leg, intermediate, both legs, advance for your movements. So that's how we always want to be when we're bouncing. We're bouncing here. Again, if I want to go, uh, now going to the left, beginner, back leg, adjust. Beginner, going to the left, back leg, adjust. Intermediate, front leg, adjust. Front leg, adjust. And advance. Both legs adjust. Both legs adjust. And that is going the left side all the different ways. Remember, advance, intermediate, beginner. Make sure you guys practice both.